Located within the Taipei Nanhai Campus Complex, the Taiwan Forestry Research Institute has a history over a hundred years since its establishment in 1896. Originally a tree nursery engaging in forestation and the raising and cultivation of seedling experiments, over the years, TFRI has been working hard to develop from a nursery to a research institute. In line with the nation's forestry policies and social development, TFRI has been conducting emerging forestry research for the forests and ecosystems in Taiwan. In 1999, after the reorganization of the government, TFRI was elevated to become a central government research institution under the jurisdiction of the Council for Agriculture. Currently, TFRI is made up of 10 divisions having a total of 27 laboratories and six research centers located in different parts of the island in order to carry out forestry management and research on forestry and forest products. Besides providing assistance to various research projects, TFRI conducts field experiments and establishes conservation areas at each research center according to native species and geographical properties in order to maintain the original composition of native forest plants. The TFRI hopes that all the divisions can demonstrate team spirit on the basis of mutual cooperation, promoting the important issues of forestry, including forest biology, silviculture techniques, forest protection, forest management, watershed management, forest products utilization, forest extension, management planning of research forests, and planning and management of national botanical gardens, so as to share the research findings with the society, culture, and economy of Taiwan, and contribute to the sustainable development and heritage of forests in Taiwan. The hot and humid climate of Taiwan has nurtured a wide variety of organisms. In order to study forest biology, silviculture techniques and forest protection, and to ensure resources conservation, TFRI engages in the survey, monitoring, collection, preservation and assessment of the composition and systematic classification of forest plants, and the genetics or modification of important species. Moreover, TFRI has established a comprehensive tree seed bank and well-founded forest conservation policies and the herbarium codename TAIF for the conservation and restoration of rare and endangered plant species in Taiwan. In order to study the possible hazards on forest organisms brought by human interference and to prevent the impact of exotic species on the forest ecosystem in Taiwan, TFRI researchers have developed a database with records of forest fires and a fire behavior prediction system, exotic organism monitoring and prevention system, and a forest disease and pest assessment and diagnostic center. In order to provide forest health maintenance, forest insect pests and animal control, and other related inquiry services to ensure a watertight and well-organized forest protection work. TFRI has also engaged in forest biotechnology research in recent years, such as using bioreactor to produce taxol with known anti-cancer function, and to propagate Cinnamomum canahire elite individuals having high economic value were propagated using tissue culture or cuttings. Genetic transfer to produce transgenic plant of eucalyptus globule seedlings with low lignin content was achieved as well. Researchers have surveyed and analyzed the composition, nutrients, and carbon storage of forest soils, offer reference to forest owners on forest management practices to enhance productivity of forest land and value of the forests, and thereby bring new opportunities to the forest resources in Taiwan. To achieve the goal of sustainable management of Taiwan's forests, forest ecosystem management has become an important issue for TFRI. Well-laid management planning and effective management objectives and strategies of forest land use are the foremost task of forest management. 
Research applies ground survey, remote sensing, and geographic information system techniques to collect data for the implementation of the database for the management of research forests, forest land classification, and forest resources inventory in order to help forest managers capture the conditions of forest land and to monitor the dynamic changes of forests, as well as to carry out projects on nature conservation area, forest ecology park, forest management area, and waterfront management area. In stand management, researchers discovered suitable forest tending methods that can improve both the quantity and quality of timber production from plantations, and thereby enhance biodiversity, promote soil and water conservation, as well as environmental conservation. Forests are a natural green reservoir and can purify water quality. Therefore, forests not only conserve water resources, but are also the cradle of pure, clean water. Due to the mountainous geographical features in Taiwan and the rapid water flow, water conservation is difficult. Researchers, therefore, have established a natural disaster prevention system based on monitoring of mud and landslide, assessing the hydrological impact of intensive land use and the benefits of vegetation covers on resource conservation, so as to develop theories and techniques on soil and water conservation. In addition, assessments and studies have been carried out on the quake-stricken areas on their hydrology, characteristics of the collapsed areas, and restoration of cover. Forest and forestry management and development are critical to the well-being of the nation's landscape security and people's livelihood. With a macro view on forest and ecosystem management, Researchers have carried out multiple assessments and studies on the importance of forest economic efficiency on the economy, society, and ecology of Taiwan. To enhance value additions of forest products and to fulfill the goals of environmental protection, the TFRI also dedicates to the R&D of green forest products. In wood material utilization, researchers have studied the utilization of small diameter log from silviculture thinnings, or wood composite with agroforest wastes and other materials such as plastics, in order to create the regeneration value of agroforest wastes. In promoting the sale of high-value-added forest products, researchers have developed laser carving technique for wood material to enhance value of wood products with drawings. Moreover, the TFRI devotes efforts to strengthen processing and utilization of bamboo materials and to develop new bamboo products. The studies on papermaking have covered the development and utilization of all kinds of plant fiber resources, improvement of pulping and bleaching processes, and assessment of paper properties. To make full use of waste paper resources, studies on the regeneration and recycling of highly processed paper products and waste paper particle board have been conducted. Additionally, to satisfy the demand for environmental protection and to enhance the added value of products, the R&D of various specialty papers have been initiated in recent years, such as the making of ancient specialty papers with modern technologies, fire-resistant papers, insect-resistant papers, air freshener papers, and jet ink papers. The Division of Wood Cellulose also engaged in study on the treatment of pulping and papermaking effluents. Forest wastes have been used to produce inorganic composite board with the carbon dioxide injection method. It is a fast processing method and ensures decay resistance and insect resistance of the products. The fire resistance coefficient of the product complies with Class C national standard. Termites, fungi and weather are the degraders of wood on the hot and humid island. To extend the service life of wood, research has been carried out on all kinds of experiments, such as the treatment with new water-soluble wood preservatives. Wood coatings have been tested for outdoor durability, and adhesive properties of wood were studied for further understanding. 
to expand the market of forest products and enhance the quality of furniture made in Taiwan. TFRI consistently provides valuable reference information. To effectively disseminate TFRI research findings and latest forestry information, provide inquiry services to the public, and strengthen forest education and applications, researchers have made use of different communication channels and media, such as the publication of forestry book series, periodicals and films, the establishment of the forestry library and the exhibition halls, and the establishment of forestry research web. Additionally, the TFRI accepts commissioned studies and various consulting services and provides guidance to the different agencies and forestry-related industries. In the face of the trend toward globalization and the global village, TFRI has actively carried out cooperation initiatives and exchanging with international educational and research institutions and has launched cooperation agreements on biodiversity conservation and forest ecosystem management, among others so as to carry out exchanges beyond national boundaries. Each of the six research centers in different parts of the island has unique flora and management conditions due to their distinct local geographical and climatic conditions and have provided many valuable opportunities for field research enabling researchers to carry out field surveys and research to collect relevant information on forests. To facilitate management of the experimental forests, the TFRI, in addition to forestation and nursery efforts, has carried out network planning and maintenance to ensure the smooth flow of forest roads and facilitate research and management. In recent years, the TFRI has actively promoted large-scale projects such as the design and construction of botanical gardens, forest ecosystem management, and environmental forest research. The National Botanical Garden Design and Construction Plan includes the renovation of existing botanical gardens and the construction of high mountain botanical gardens and coastal area botanical gardens, as well as management personnel training, and provide explanations on the ecology and the environment. The project covers field experiments of multiple aspects of silviculture practices, watershed and riparian monitoring and conservation, and the establishment of permanent plots for long-term observation and modification of management policies. TFRI has conducted in-depth research on various environmental forests such as urban forests, cultivation and plantation of windbreak forests in coastal areas, and green belts in industrial areas, to enable sustainable development and help foster the creation of a green silicon island. Forests are the lifeline of Taiwan. Rational management and utilization of forests, with due consideration on the preservation of the ecosystem and public welfare, are definitely the correct course for sustainable management of the forests. TFRI hopes that through an ideology combining economical, social, ecological, and educational aspects, it is able to discover new force of life and green spirits for the beautiful island of Taiwan.